guys hi and welcome back i am off to madrid today this is very random but it's a two-night business trip i'm working very closely with the esc business school they're one of the best business schools in europe and they're having an event called the high potential leadership experience so it's going to be a day of case studies and lectures i'm essentially going back to university for the day whilst i am here for work i want to see if i can explore madrid a bit but yeah it's only a two and a half hour flight so let's get going Madrid I've unpacked my stuff at the hotel taken a shower got them ready quickly I'm so happy to be here kind of decompressing I've been working on the go which has been a bit all over the place like trying to answer emails and stuff but it's so fine this really is a work trip so I shouldn't even really be taking this much time to go chill but um yeah it's like 1 30 which is great i do need to edit a video and post a video ideally right now i also forgot euro adapters which is so excruciatingly annoying it's every single time i travel to europe i forget them and i have so many collecting at home now yeah i need to find somewhere to buy a couple of adapters because obviously i need that to charge my devices um so yeah i might do a tiny bit of work then head out go to a few museums maybe do two museums walk about see some monuments get some dinner come back to the hotel and then just work for the evening i've got so much work to do outfit of the day this is just a chunky v-neck from lacoste and these trousers i believe are zara from ages ago i, I wore them to my graduation actually my master's graduation but yeah anyway let's go sightseeing <laughs> It is 6.40 a.m. in Madrid, so it feels like 5.40. I've been up since six. It's been such a whirlwind few days of just no sleep, but I can't complain. Basically, today is all about learning how to be a better CEO. I got in yesterday, as you saw, and the weather was absolutely wild. It was raining so much, I didn't actually explore any of Madrid. I went to the supermarket, came back, and then just chilled for the evening because I really needed to catch up on some sleep. I fell asleep around 10 p.m., which was like 9 p.m. UK time. But I'm gonna give you a rundown of the agenda quickly, and then I'm gonna do some prep, do some reading for some case studies that we have to prepare in advance. We have to meet downstairs in the hotel lobby in an hour. I'm guessing everyone who's going to this high potential leadership experience that's not from madrid is being put up in this hotel so we're all in the same place because there's a shuttle bus taking us to and from the campus today we leave the campus at 9 p.m so it's going to be a very very long day but tomorrow i really want to make the most of my day in madrid because my flight isn't until like 5 p.m so i do want to like get up early and explore but i don't know if i'm gonna feel up to it we'll see the main reason i'm here is for this um experience in this event. We have the shuttle bus which is going to take half an hour from 7.45 to 8.15. We've then got a welcome breakfast for another half an hour and then at 8.45 we've got welcome words from the associate dean for the MBA and masters in management program. And then at 9.15 for like an hour and 15 we've got a strategy session about formulation and implementation. Then for another 45 minutes we've got teamwork. Then we're working on a case study which is Amazon Go and that will be an hour 15 up until 12.30. Then 12.30 is lunch for an hour, 1.30 is a group photo, then 2 p.m. for 45 minutes is teamwork, and then at 2.45 is a session on the impact of global professional networks for an hour and 15, four case studies to read for that. Then there's a break at 4 p.m. Um, and then the last session of the day is about managing self, and there's a case study for that as well which is an hour 15. And then there's a career development center session at six, a networking cocktail session at 7.15, and then the shuttle bus back to the hotel at nine. I'd love to know if I could leave a bit earlier so I could just come back and get some sleep, but 
if not it's so fine um so yeah that's that's basically it i've got one two three four five six seven case studies to read i'm gonna go through some of these materials let you know my thoughts i'm still very tired if you can't hear and tell in my energy um and then we'll get going <laughs> going through the case studies I feel like it's gonna be really interesting one of them is about Amazon's diversification into brick and mortar stores the way they kind of combined the online Amazon Prime accounts with the traditional supermarket is like very interesting the Harvard Business Review case study is about literally managing yourself how to be a better CEO playing to your strengths and and the idea that you should develop what you're already good at instead of try and prove on the things that you're not so good at at least as you grow up in your career and you're establishing yourself as a leader there were some others as well but I don't have time to get into that right now because I have five minutes until I need to be downstairs so I'm just gonna get my stuff together and head downstairs to the lobby I'm quite nervous but very excited let's get going <laughs> So the day started with a welcome breakfast. We got to network a bit with everyone who was attending the experience and meet some of the professors. And then the real work began. It was time to start our lectures. These were an hour and 15 minutes each. And we also had to do some group work to work on some case studies. It was such a mentally intense morning, very interesting stuff, but I was so excited when lunchtime came. We had three courses, which was so interesting for a lunch. And I never usually get espressos, but I had to have one today. And the sun finally came out just in time for us to take a group picture to remember the day before heading in to continue our lectures. I loved how interactive every single session was. We were actually joined by the lady who this case study was written about, which was such a great touch. Just like that, it was time to end the day with some networking before going back to the hotel. Good morning, guys. It is the day after. I'm feeling much brighter today, as you can tell. But yeah, I finished the event. It's the morning after. My flight is later tonight at like 5 p.m. So I'm going to head to the airport around 3.45. Really, really interesting stuff. I was so unbelievably tired when I got back to the hotel. I cannot even believe how tired I was. I think it's just accumulating over all of these days of just la my lack of sleep. But um, yeah, I posted some stuff over on TikTok, um, like more recaps of the day and whatnot. But it's like 10 a.m. at the moment, so I need to go explore a bit of Madrid at the very least. I'm gonna leave my suitcase in the hotel lobby and then make my way out. I need to get some food, but I'm just gonna eat on the go because I don't wanna spend time like sitting in a restaurant. I wanna go to as many museums as possible, see some monuments, just walk around, listen to music, you know, just do some touristy things, which I feel very lucky to be able to do because obviously this is a work trip. I just finished filming a video for ESC. I'm not gonna edit it now. I'm gonna edit on the flight probably. Um, and then when I get back as well and just work through the weekend instead so that I can make the most of being here, as I said. But um, yeah, let's, let's get going. Let's explore Madrid. extremely gloomy but there are like three museums in this area it was only like a 20 minute metro ride from where I was so looking forward to it the first one I'm gonna check out is an art museum obviously <laughs>
huge. I'm on the second floor. I've already been here for an hour and there's two more floors, but I'm seeing a lot of Picasso, seeing a lot of Salvador Dali. To be fair, so many Spanish artists, which is amazing because I found that when I go to a bunch of galleries and museums in other countries, it just feels like stolen art. But here it's so Spanish and I feel like I'm learning a lot about Spanish art. Um, and yeah, it's just... It's just incredible. It's so beautiful. There are so many incredible pieces. I feel like I should leave soon, but I really don't want to. I'm really enjoying walking around here. We'll, we'll do some more. We'll do some more. I 100% overestimated the weather. It is so chilly. I'm sniffling, but it's so fine. I'm en route to the second museum. There are so many art museums. I feel like most of them are just art. Like I've seen another one across the street and outside it says Picasso as well. So I can't tell if it's like just all gonna be the same vibe. So I'm hoping this one is slightly different, but that's my plan right now. It's like midday already. And I feel like I need to start heading back to the hotel to collect my bags and head to the airport at like 2.30, 2.45 because I don't really want to be stressing. That's allowing myself like two hours at the airport, which I think is more than enough. But um, yeah, so far so good. That museum, as I said, absolutely, absolutely loved it. Would highly recommend if you're ever in Madrid. But yeah, let's check out this next one. I am seeing an unbelievably huge queue to get into this museum. So it might not be the smartest decision for me. The last museum had a huge queue as well, but I was like, eh, this is much longer though. I reckon it's probably safest for me to skip this one and do something else. The queue is all the way back there and all the way around here. So yeah, absolutely no chance. Now it's starting to rain and it's picking up. I'm on my way to a thrift store. I've got about an hour until I need to start making my way back. Ooh, just seen another shop. But um, I'm losing my will to explore because of the cold and the rain, but we're gonna push through. back to the hotel I found some excellent thrift purchases I'm so excited I'll do a proper haul I mean it's only two items but I'll show you properly like try them on when I'm back in London um, so yeah I'm just gonna go to the hotel pick up my bags and then make my way to the airport I've got a bit more time than I had planned but to be honest it's probably better that I just get to the airport early so that I can chill maybe do a bit of work um, just check in with ease because it's a Saturday it might be really busy so yeah just want to get that out of the way but um yeah really really enjoyed I wish I had more time to check out the thrift scene here because it looks like it's really really good I mean I only went into that one um, shop but yeah let's make our way to the airport thank you guys so much for watching hope you enjoyed if you did don't forget to like comment subscribe and turn notifications on so you don't miss any videos but yeah I'm gonna go now I'll see you next time so bye Oh, 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 oh,